Welcome back to Penny to Plays Exanima, a game I find far less stressful than XCOM. Let's get started in something good. Maybe Mike can go for an elimination round for us. I think he's our shield dude. He's gonna become our shield dude, but we don't have shield dudes early on. Yeah, XCOM has been a little too stressful for me. Stressful, fun still, but you know, it also means I can't just keep spamming recordings about for my sanity. Also, I broke her arm. That's totally cool. And I don't know how long this is going to be because my fan is broken. The fan on the side of the room that lets me record without it being too far in the background. Which, as you can imagine, is necessary so I don't melt into a puddle. And as sexy as of a, of a puddle I may make, and I disagree, you know, but somebody may disagree and maybe we're fishing for that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's good for my brain. I don't think it's good for my health. I don't think it's good for my sanity or my mood, which has been very weird lately. I mean, not that I'm, you know, walking around pissing on people, like, literally or figuratively because I'm cranky, but, like, your head's not in the right space. You're, you're wondering whether that next mission is going to go right because the last time it did, only luck saved you. And you're wondering, maybe this is how it all ends. Maybe this is something we need to let go. Just another defeat we have to accept, but I'm tired of losing! Well, we don't appear to be losing right now, which is totally where we want to be at. And we're gonna bash you on the head. Low-level characters really do just suffer from getting bashed on the head. Unfortunately, Mike's gonna have problems until we get him a decent shield. Or any shield whatsoever will do, actually. That was weird. I mean, we both looked at each other, though. Uh, maybe you can just punch this guy. Don't do it, Pat. You can have pugilistic... Parades whenever you damn well please. Just don't do it here. Because everybody else is a little wounded and we only have Mike to send into fights. Is he uh he an aspirant already? Well Leggy got leveled up. I don't know when Van happened, but I'm happy it did. So you're gonna be our two-hander. So I want you to parry at uh, Remiss. So more offense. We're building them exactly the same. The start of many games, especially anything with a uh Development fee? No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, with an RPG-like progression system. Tend to be all samey at the start. Was this elimination? I don't remember. Either way, we're gonna... Wow, I think I drew blood. Or did he drew, draw blood? One of the things I like about Exanima is the lack of an HP indicator in the other guy. You just don't know whether you should push or not. Information, the lack of it, is a great way to increase tension in many cases. And it doesn't work for all games, by the way. Um... Diablo 3 really showed its colors, and I bring this point up a lot. Diablo 3 really showed its colors when Blizzard, if I remember correctly, decided to publish all the items that you could get before the game was even out. Now, I'm not gonna get into the entire that led to some disappointment because you had expectations going into the game and, you know, knowing what you want instead of just experiencing things for the very first time and thus enjoying yourself. But I, I, I disagree in that case. In that case, information for me, personally, did not... Oh, it is a... It is that thing that I was talking about. A, a elimination thing. Uh, in, information in that case did not contribute to the enjoyment. In fact, it may have detracted from it. Although, they were trying to get you addicted. That was a good way to do it. Because you know that all you have to do is keep playing. And that's what got people... You know, some people to keep playing at any rate. Now, Diablo is still okay. And I'm very happy that you know, they're still giving it updates and shit. But, you know... Still on all a move I disagree with. At least, no, okay, a move I disagreed with, but a move I did not recognize when I was buying the game. Because I was still expecting it to be this, you know, adventure sort of deal. But I remember from Diablo 1, which is weird because I have more fond memories of Diablo 2. Playing LAN with friends, for example. I'm gonna pick this up because we don't use... I think we've been using two-handers too much and we should get used to one-handers again. Uh, maybe not though. It's choppy choppy. I should not have taken a swing bear, but a stab from a cleaver doesn't really scare me. Has this game always looked this pretty? Uh, I probably should have put this in the alternate weapon slot instead of uh, replacing our weapon. Head slash, arm slash, back up. Okay, we don't need to hold shift pad. So just step back when she starts swing and... Well, maybe you should aim for her too. That might be good. Oh my god, you have no nose. You've got, you've got the Tyrion special of Blackwater Bay. Also, we're, we're on the correct side of the equation because her defensive arm uh, was on the other side and she could only really block with her arm, which is not recommended 
when facing somebody with a what I can only assume is a saw blade of some sort. I should know what this is by now. Let's see if we can stab with this. We can stab with it. That's kind of cool. Speaking of stabbing with it, die. I would like a long pig tonight. We'll be eating enemy. That is the greatest insult we can give to them. We're turning them into poop. It's not, it's not a great stab. And it's pretty much worse than that thing. We can probably get a headshot in. Or a leg shot. Or a headshot. Wow. You are not doing too well, Blondie. Sorry. One of us had to die. Actually, neither of us had to die if I used a blunt weapon, but you are dead. I'll send a fruit basket to your family. You know what? I'm keeping the fruit basket. I could use the food. Also because I like fruits. I'm going to go for a banana, an apple, a lot of things. This is a quarter staff. This is not the weapon we're looking for. Much like the droids, I think we got tricked by some old man and his son or his grandson or his victim, whatever the case may be. Pretty weird. I wonder if we can, we can't, you know, kind of poke with this, but it's not great. Also bouncing all over the place because we're long, spindly, and of questionable integrity. Physical integrity, anyway. Personal integrity, I don't know. Integrity is the union of, ouch, of not ouches, but I guess the union of your actions, your thoughts, and your deeds. Wait, that's two of those things are much like the other. Um, no, not gonna get that book. I hate quarter staffs. I can't use them properly. They they feel like death by a thousand pokes, and. That just means an extended engagement, which long-time viewers will be aware, I'm not a fan of extended engagements. Also, we poked you in the nose. I'm gonna pick that up, just in case uh, we want to try this out. Probably should put this in the secondary slot, just so if we find that it's not working, we have options. But yes, I've completely forgotten what I was saying. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of extended engagements. The longer an engagement is, and not the, you know, wedding kind of engagement, the more danger you're likely to be in because you are more prone to making mistakes after a while. You are most aware, most of the time, for most people, I think, at the start of an engagement rather than the end of it. Evander Holyfield, an example I'm always going to keep bringing up, was better the longer an engagement started because he needed a bit of time to wake up, or, you know, a good shot in the chin would get him to start fighting for real Z's this time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. You got me, bitch. Okay, let's wait for a counter. I mean, it's the cheesy way to play, but when you're wounded, it's time to smash some face. He's going to stab? No. Well, he's gonna get a concussion and some brain damage. Sorry about that, kid, but you can get in disabilities, I think, if I smash you in the hammer enough. In the head. You know, you don't have to work anymore, but you also won't be able to understand the words I say if I hit you hard enough. There goes the language center of your brain. Ooga booga. I also mounted you. Now that'll show you his boss. I'm gonna turn you into poop by eating your body. That is a shame. Hey, Far, it's, it's you again. I wish we could buy jackets. Right now, early part of the game, it's really bad. Getting enough money to get anything done. Nice axe, though. I think we should step back. I should practice my right to left some more. I'm very weak at those. Although that wasn't a good right to left, because we weren't hitting where the weapon was not. I'm gonna dance with you now. Haha, <laughs> I've dodged you. Time for some aggressive defense. I Wow, I'm really going to town in that wrist. It's not gonna be able to masturbate a lot. There's, I think there was a joke there, but I just went for the cheap shot. Such as I'm going to do now. Oh, well, that didn't work. Come on, dude. Be cool. You're already dead. Just step back. There's no need. There's no range differential. So you can just smash him in the face. Well, there goes the entire right side of his body. Oh, come on. This is uncool of you. Back. Bonk. Maybe we should try to outrange him, but that stick isn't going to really give us the killing power we want. Or maybe we don't need the killing power anyway, since he looks pretty fucked up. I hit him first. His momentum continued, though. Wow, I'm having a bit of trouble here. Probably because of the similar ranges. Also smashy smashy. And, you know, hammers tend to be a bit more punishing when it comes to range. At least to hitting them proper. I mean, they've got a lot of impact on them, but they've only got a very small area where impact is meaningful. Try to slink up by... Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Sticks out for Harambe. Man... When people talk about 2016, they're going to be telling their kids about this fucking gorilla that started the entire thing. Step back and poke. Step back and poke. Step back and poke. Wow, that felt dirty. I also probably should quit while we're ahead. Yep, we should quit while we're ahead. But instead, I'm going to step back and poke. 
Okay, we're gonna quit. I don't want to lose this guy. This guy, we need him for money. I don't want to train up another dude. That seems annoying, if I were to be honest with you. We have some pugilism, some safe, punchy, punchy action. Oh, let's do that. Hmm. I'm getting, I'm getting used to going out into the world today. Something, something where the good comes to bad, when the bad comes to good, and the sweat is dripping down my face like a waterfall. I mean, we don't want to go chasing waterfalls. We, we should just stick to the lakes and the rivers that we're used to. I know I'd rather have it my way than nothing at all, but I think we're moving too fast. And it's also goddamn warm without the wind. Like, it's not warm, but it's humid. Something that's fine with even a little wind, but since... Actually, no. Okay, let's clarify. The fan itself is not broken. The sockets on to my right are completely, like, we, we turned that off because of some electrical issues. And now I can't plug anything into the right side of my body, which is normally fine. But if I turn on the fan in the left, and that's how warm it is usually where I am, um, there's going to be a lot of interference. You're a gigantic lady. Are you Korra from Mass Effect Andromeda? Who, you know, everybody's already thinking about, well, how am I going to romance her? I mean, there's a limited number of people when we're pathfinding in the unknown reaches of space and to be into another galaxy, so I guess I have a shot. Or if I don't, it's a little, you know... We'll just have to wait, like a creepy person, like, you know, you're gonna run out of options eventually, and then you'll see how good I am to be with. Ah, that is a loud sound. Hello. Let's break your arm. I'm sure you won't- what about your left arm? I think I'll break your left arm. Sorry, that was your rib. Let me try again. That was your face. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna have to steal your clothes. Maybe the clothes make if the man- I don't have pants, I keep forgetting. I think we'll be fine, though. Oh. Okay, that's a hammer. But this hammer, though, it has a nice wide end. There's probably people with mushroom penises out there. Like, you know, really narrow shaft. Really thick head. I wonder if that feels better for, you know, the recipients in that case. Because how much work does the shaft really do? Well, that sounds like somebody, you know, somebody with a small dick would say, but I assure you, my dick is perfectly average, and I am a firm believer in under-promising and over-delivering. So just, you know, if people are like, how big is your dick? Just tell them, ah, pretty average. Like, make them think that it's smaller than it actually is, so that when you see it, like, wait a minute, this is actually kind of neat. Ouch. And then, oh my god, just that surprise alone will create a positive, you know, first impression that what else you do won't matter. So that's my sex tip. Advice for the day, try not to follow it. Because, I mean, that's the expectation that everyone you, you're talking to is like, get to see your penis at some point. I mean, tastes aside, I mean, they might not be t into you at all. Ah, that was going to be a good shot no matter what. Hmm. Step back. I wonder what moves we have in, in Tyson. Ah, doesn't matter. I broke his neck. Works for me. God, I am dripping in sweat. I am, this is practice for summer, I'll be honest with you. Because summer, no amount of fanning will make this okay. Like, no amount of fanning. Like, I remember last summer recording, I think I was still on hots at the time, and just swimming in my goddamn sweat to the point where I started developing, like, shit, the rashes develop? Like, uh, yeah, I started developing rashes in my fucking arms, my, you know, like, sides, like, everywhere. And yes, it, it is as disgusting as it sounds. Mike Tyson's getting a lot more airtime than normal Rick. I no punch. I think you're a gigantic lady or I am a tiny man. I did make him as short as possible, as near as I could figure. Uh, we do have remiss, I think, so we can double punch her. Return a fist puncher. Oh, okay, no. <sighs> you're making me sweat here. A la 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 long. A la 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 long. A la 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 long. Yeah, I'd love to explain how I decide to move here but it's really just if they throw a punch the second punch isn't gonna kill me so it's kind of worth the risk to just dive in and see what kind of nightmares we can inspire in our enemies dogs though kind of getting worked up it's almost lunchtime they might be hungry i'm a little hungry tried a 50 50 peso um hot dog yesterday uh, uh for your reach for us dollars i think it's like a, a dollar foot long hot dog it was Think about what a, a dollar foot long hot dog would taste like. It's exactly what you think it is. 
and with the added bonus of giving you, you know, diarrhea. So there's that weight loss plan. Just buy the dollar foot long and experience horror as your insides try to hate you and rebel against you. They've had enough of your bullshit and they're just not, you can't get away with this anymore. That's what my body told me. I'm like, maybe I should eat real food. But I was still full, you see, even with the diarrhea like and stomach cramps, it's just, he just kept going. We should probably try to kill this guy as we discuss the diarrhea. You know what, guy? I am going to take a shit on you. Come on. This is not Duel of the Fates. This is... Huh, spring was pretty fast there. I still don't know when I should move. Some people said move first and then swing. I actually disagree. I think you start the swing and then move. Move as the swing goes with you. A little bit like that. Because if you move first, the animation kind of takes over the swing. But if you do this, you're going to cause a lot of damage. Like so. Well, if we hit her head, like so. Okay, game, you gotta be cool about this. I'm trying to be, look smart. You know what? Don't try to be smarter or cooler than you actually are. People around you just wish that you were smarter or cooler than you actually are, at least in my experience, personally. But, you know, you can't try to be something you're not, so you just gotta deal with it. Just gotta accept it. They just wish it. But they'll still love you for who you are, for the most part. If they don't love you for who you are, and who you are doesn't really hurt people, you know, not intentionally, maybe you make mistakes a lot. Maybe, you know, you're not quite all there yet, but you're getting it together slowly, surely. You know, but you know, they'll probably like you anyway. Although, you know, people liking you for because you tried feels like, you know, the, the participation prize of life. Not really something you, you want to aim for. Also, I hear like a motorcycle outside. That might be why the dogs are wigging out. It's certainly not why this guy is going to get his head punched in. Uh, let's try to poke his head. Oh, got his ribs. Close enough. Make a liar out of me? No, you won't. You are a stick sandwich. Apparently, that was just a gag the entire idiot sandwich thing. Fortunately, because I feel like even if... That were part of, if that were part of an actual Gordon Ramsay show rather than a spoof or like a joke. Like, I think that's too much abuse. Like, the point of abuse, I guess, or fear or whatever is to inspire or to motivate people to do better. I mean, I disagree with it personally, but I think that's the goal in those shows. Also entertainment. And, you know, compelling narratives. But still, though, uh, <laughs> calling yourself an idiot sandwich is too absurd to be taken seriously. And I feel like that's the point where lawsuits can begin. I mean, if you didn't sign, like, a no Susie's, no Baxi's uh, contract to get on the show to begin with. Why don't we let him take a swing? Ah, defensive, huh? Again, eventually your guard will drop. Which is weird, because I'm countering you. Oh, Jesus, nice shot. Oh, nice counter. And by counter, I mean nice bash in my head. Gotta time this better. Yeah, that was never gonna work. That might. The good news is, with a quarter staff, it's not likely that we'll receive enough red damage to really be concerned. Just watch his hands. There you go. Alright, that's gonna do it for now because the sweat is dripping to my eyes and I have very healthy eyebrows, which means it's a lot of sweat. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Lovely Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. You can also follow me on Twitter. You can like the video, you can share it, you can leave a comment. Mm -mm -mm, but you don't have to do any of that good stuff. Because I'm not the boss of you. Who I am is Panator. And I'll see you later.